surfer must execute the most radical controlled maneuvers in the critical section of the wave with speed and power throughout. The surfer who executes such maneuvers on the biggest and or the best waves for the longest functional distance shall be deemed the winner. If you hear a lot about the judges and something went wrong, we follow the criteria that the surfers have established for surfing around the world. That's our job. If you don't hear anything about us, we've done a good job. ASP surfers, they decide what the criteria is. It's not what we want to see or what we think is cool, what we think is good surfing, it's what the book says. The minute you leave your hands, leave your board, and you stand up, you are scored. Whether or not you fall off immediately, you don't make the wave or whatever, you are scored for every single one of your rides. Maximum 10 rides, three highest, sometimes four highest waves are counted. What's happened is five scoring judges, the highest knocked out, the lowest knocked out. We've got the average of the three judges. The highest scoring maneuver is the tube ride. There's no doubt about that. It's pretty simple. The excellent rides are reserved for tube riding. That's the eight to 10 range. You know, the good rides uh, fall in a six to 7.5 range. And uh, therefore, like maybe a tube that's not quite as good or for some very strong maneuvers. And then below that is, you know, usually incomplete rides. The most traditional and the most um, scrutinized maneuver is the bottom turn. You come off the bottom, right off the bottom, on the rail, straight up the face of the wave, straight back the same track. Without catching, with full speed and control, that's what we're talking about. And the judges of today, as the surfers of today, they are of a very, very high caliber. They are the highest caliber only because we've been growing with the sport. And what they do is there's five traveling ASP judges with a head judge. In whatever country they are surfing in at that particular time, they will um, choose two of the top judges from that particular country to join in the panel. So what you do basically is you have a truly international judging panel with the local flavor to back it up. Here at Pipeline, I reckon it's a lot easier. You know, it's a way more comfortable judging here. There's more pressure because of the scope of this event and the importance of it. But in terms of judging, I like judging at Pipe. The criteria of the Pipeline basically is uh, very simple. It's called get barreled and get out. And uh, the deeper you get, the more points you get. And you have to do this with uh, style and control being very important as well. So yeah, that's why it's a simpler place to judge. And basically, we're measuring the barrels they get. The maneuvers at this uh, at pipeline are not scored as high. We can see right through the barrel. We can see how far they're going. You know, it's a barrel riding event. That's about it. Yeah.